Hi, I'm Stephanie Sandifer, and today I'm with Philip McDonald, and he's the owner of Cape Landscaping and Irrigation. Did I say that correctly? You did. Okay. Thank you so much. I wanted to tell y'all he has taken on a huge project in my backyard, and it is a work in progress, but I really appreciate everything he's been doing, and I wanted everybody to know about his business and kind of his philosophy and his approach to landscaping. So thank you for joining me today. You're welcome. And I've gotten to know you this past week, and it's it's really been enjoyable to it get has. to know you and your personality and your sense of humor, <laughs> <laughs> and your patience with the boys and teaching them how to lay sod. So thank you so much. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. I'm, I, you know, that's what I'm out here for. It's what I enjoy doing, and um, you know, life's too short to be kind of, you know, not patient, I right. guess, so to speak. You know. Well, so. you've had a lot of patience. <laughs> He even fixed our lawnmower for us <laughs> that Wesley broke and he won't admit it. Um, so, so how I found you is I posted on Facebook and asked if anybody knew of a good landscaper and of course what's happening at Fairhope everybody posts their responses mm -hmm. immediately but what I liked about you is a I know your mom Brenda McDonald she's a real estate agent in Baldwin County and I've done a few deals with her and we really like working together so I called her and checked you out and you're you're legit <laughs> and also that your wife had posted about your business yes. and so she really follows social media do you follow social media at all or uh, no I mean I, I have social media but mm -hmm. you know I, I don't have you know I really don't have the time mm -hmm. to be concentrating on social media you know how social media does I mean you can actually be tied up all day on social media yes and um you know i already get phone calls you know and i'm in emails and I'm, and I'm constant at that so to add on one more you know outlet would is just it's tough you, you know i mean of course trying to keep the size company you want to have without really getting too big you try not to take on extra people so you know i feel like for me to really follow that social media and be plugged into it, you know, I really need somebody else there to be telling me, hey, right. you need to look at it, you need to look at it, you need right. to look at it. So, but no, I don't. My wife does, she does. She follows it awesome, but at the same time, you know, she she uses social media for the business that she does. Um, oh, what's her business? Uh, she works for uh, Haley Craig and they have Haley's Little Fish. Okay. And it's a survival swim class for, uh, okay. I think children five and under. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's a really neat um, thing that they're doing for these kids uh, you know I I did I have older children as well as I have a three-year-old too and I didn't know this type of thing existed I, you know I just thought that you know you throw you know you take throw them in a pool and you you uh, you take them to someone and teach them how to swim when they get a certain age I didn't know that there was a class that you could teach these babies when they fall in face first right to roll over on their back and float. So it was really neat seeing my three-year-old after the first couple um, sessions of her, and, and it's a, it's traumatizing for a parent oh, to see is. your child, with Wesley. Yeah, child mm -hmm. to go in that water. Mm -hmm. you're, but you know, after a couple of times, they, they figure it out and they roll over and it's, it's man, I'm telling you, that is. Especially I, living around the water. Yes, I highly water recommend if, if anybody who has small children, that is something you really want to look into doing. Um, like you said, living around the water. Mm -hmm. I mean, and everybody's putting pools in there, you yes. know. So, you know, I, yeah, I highly recommend looking into, uh, you know, looking into a survival swim class and Haley's Little Fish, you know. Does they're she on, have... They're on social okay, media. She, okay. She's on Facebook. Um, and, and, you know, you just look it up and, and contact them and... Mm -hmm. You know those girls are awesome you know those those girls that work with those kids because they have a, they have to have a lot of patience themselves working with, you, you, you know how it is so you know it's a great thing have you been in the landscaping business landscaping i've been in about 13 years okay and before you were a landscaper what was your profession uh restaurants i have okay. you know i've been in the restaurant business prior to that um I guess about 2001, I stepped into the restaurant business and mm -hmm. and played with it. Uh, general manager, kitchen manager, executive chef, bar manager. Where were you a uh, chef at? Um, tin Top mm -hmm. um, in Bonsecure, came and grilled. Was kitchen manager for Wenzel's. Mm -hmm. um, 
I managed the uh, original Oyster House in Gulf Shores as a dining room manager for them. What's so, your favorite thing to cook? Man, whew, that's Okay, tough. top three of your top, top three. Top three. Your top three would be vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, man, that's tough. Lamb. The third would probably be scallops. Not really into lamb unless it's cooked really well. But you have to cook it right. That's exactly. Yes, yeah. but I love scallops and yes. I love vegetables, so maybe yeah. we can work out a deal yeah. besides the landscaping. <laughs> um, so I was reading about your your logo. It's K A P E Landscaping. Mm -hmm. What does that stand for? So um, Cape stands for Caitlin, mm -hmm. Aaliyah, mm -hmm. Philip, and Ella. And that is the four children that I have from oldest to youngest. Um, the uh, issue that I'm having now is I have to add two more <laughs> letters because I have twins on the way, twin girls on the way. So I don't, I got to figure out somewhere to. So How much time do you have? Uh, August. Okay. <laughs> so you got it's some not, time. There's not really that much time because you know how time, it's like goes right. by so fast now. Right. But uh, yeah, so. We're trying to figure out how we're going to incorporate them. Is it going to be, do you know if you're going to have boys, girls? Identical girls. Identical girls. Identical girls. So and cute. that'll be five girls, one boy. Wow, that's a special boy. He is. Mm -hmm. He is. And how old is he? He is 16. 16. Okay. He's 16. I got a 20-year-old girl, 18-year-old mm -hmm. girl, 16-year-old boy, 3-year-old girl, twin girls on the way. Those girls are high maintenance, aren't they? They are, but they're fun. Yes. You know, girls, I mean, they, they believe this or not, mm -hmm. you know, they they get their daddies. I mean, my girls oh, yes, have me. Mm -hmm. I mean, my you know, it's different with my boy, but my girls, you know, they have me. Mm -hmm. they, I mean, they got me wrapped around their pinky, their ring finger, their middle finger, their right. thumb. They've got me wrapped, and it's a it's a special relationship with those girls. I mean, it's just they're they are different, and and they're delicate. That's what I have starting to find out that they're yes. very delicate. Yes, they are, and you so, have to learn how to approach certain yes. subjects with them. Yes, and that was that's that was probably one of the toughest things for me because being in the restaurant business, especially in the kitchen, you got to have tough skin. Right. You know, and um, sometimes I didn't know how to turn that switch right. from off to on. <laughs> so, but my 16 year old boy was really good about letting me know, hey, dad, you need to. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so you he need to. Told you. Yes. Oh, yeah. He's, mm -hmm. he's, he's a very simple kid, mm -hmm. and he, he will, in a heartbeat, like, hey, dad, you need to not say it that way. You know, so. I'm the oldest of three girls, and I used to, mm -hmm, and I used to joke with my dad that he thought, he wanted boys because my dad was so hard on me and now as an adult he says see that's how I made you so tough <laughs> but it, a little sensitivity can go a long way it can, so. it can. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm finding that out right so my two oldest girls have definitely uh, trained and prepared me for mm -hmm. these other three mm -hmm. so that is so cool fantastic job so we've talked about your family we've talked about your business how long have you lived in Fairhope in fair, so I, I'm, I'm Fish River. Mm -hmm. That's Fairhope. It, it is Fairhope because we have Fairhope water. Right. And we get the, the yes, you know. Yes, you're Fairhope. Um, we have been in Fairhope for five years. Um, prior to that, we wanted to live on the water. We mm -hmm. just weren't 100 percent sure where at. We were on the lagoon and Gulf Shores for a short period of time, and you know how the traffic is down there. Yes, I do. Um, and then we tried moving up to Canal. Um, uh, West Canal um, and that wasn't bad but you know that's just being down there it, it's just tough to get around anywhere mm -hmm. um, so I told my wife I said look just 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 find us something just not this way so she found us a place there in uh, Fish River and that's where we've been for five years and that's where we, we plan on staying you know it's just nice and quiet up there and you have mm -hmm. plans to, you said you're going to renovate at some point? Yes, we're actually, we're going to have to add on some mm -hmm. square footage. Obviously, you got it. <laughs> <girls. laughs> 
So that's the next step is to uh, is to do that, mm -hmm. you know, add on to the uh, the addition. But you're here to stay, so that's good. Yeah, we're here to stay. We're not going where my, my wife has ties, her her both her parents, uh, her mom and her stepfather were teachers uh, at Fairhope. They're now te they're teachers at Robertsdale High School right now. Mm -hmm. So she grew up in Fairhope. Um, she went all of her grade years to Fairhope. So we're not going anywhere. You know, all my family's from Foley. So I think we found a good place. And, um, you know, we love Fairhope. I mean, you know. Well, I'm, I'm very fortunate that I got to meet you. And, you know, I, I like to give referrals to people that I think highly of. And you're going to get a lot of business from me. <laughs> so hope you're ready. Thank you. What I really like about your approach to the landscaping is you actually educate. For example, the state of palm that my neighbor gave me, you were able to explain about the different, it's a female, and you were explaining the different parts of it and how to take care of it, and I really appreciate that because I do not have a green thumb. <laughs> and anything I get, I want it to be low maintenance, and right. I just want it to last. So yeah. I've really been enjoying just your technique, even the way you've been transforming my backyard, yeah. which is a whole nother episode we could discuss. Yeah. But it's well it's good it's good for the homeowner to know what they're doing i mean you're buying mm -hmm. a product if you buy a car you want to know about the car you're buying right. you know it's that's with anything um you know i i could i could have come in here and say okay stephanie we, we should put this type of grass in here and left it at that mm -hmm. but i'm going to explain the reason why we're going to use this grass you need to know that this is a shade tolerable grass you need to know that you know, that sago is a female. She's going to put off more seeds. You're going to have mm -hmm. more sa sago palms. Which I want. Um, so. Yeah, right. But that's good um, to know ahead of time. But, yeah, these are things that, you know, homeowners should know. Um, I, I try to be as personal as I can, as the homeowner will allow me to be. It's probably mm -hmm. the best way to, mm -hmm. way to put it is um, I, I, I want them to feel comfortable with me. And, and I'm going to give them all the information that I can. And if I don't have it, I'm going to call and I'm going to find out. I mean, I have so many resources out there from over all the years of doing this that I can, you know, I can pick phone up and say, hey, I've got this issue with this. Can you help me out? Because I don't know. Well, when so. you are not working and your wife is not teaching swim lessons and you're not chasing around the three-year-old, <laughs> what do you guys like to do? Do you like to come into Fairhope and shop or eat? We do. Actually, we spend majority of our of our off time in Fairhope. Mm -hmm. um, either we're down at the pier, we're downtown, um, you know, we're walking along the bay, we go, you know, down where the geese mm -hmm. are. Um, we pretty much spend the majority of our time this way in Fairhope. I mean, what's not to love about Fairhope? I mean, it's it's everything you want. I, I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a fantastic place. And the people in Fairhope are so, they're friendly too, you know, when you're, when you're walking through there, you know, hey, how you doing? You know, it's so just small town, but big, so to speak. You I know? call it small town America. You know, yeah. I grew up in a big city, and it was so refreshing when we moved here because everybody knows everybody, or every somebody knows somebody that you know. They're and, connected. Correct. Somehow they're connected, correct. which you and I have figured yes. that out yes. over the past, you know. Yes. Well, even few today days, we figured out that I used to teach with Melanie Waters yeah. and. You work with Melanie Waters. Exactly, so. exactly. So yeah, it's uh, it's a great place. I mean, it really is. Um, from shopping to eating to just hanging out, um, you know, it's just it's fantastic. You know. So where do you take your three-year-old when you ta do you take her out to eat with you? Oh, so when we. <laughs> When we, yeah, she does. We all we do. We go out to eat, and uh, it's we can't say just one spot because mm -hmm. we do. We bounce around. But there, from, are from, there certain restaurants you won't take her uh, to? No, I mean we. Of course, we're not going to the bars, right? You know, but uh, no, we we'll go. We go really anywhere. You know, mm -hmm. we we love to go to District Hall. We love going to Sandra's. We love going to Two Sisters. We love going to. Um, you know any place that's you know down there and and of course i'm i'm slipping on my mind of the restaurants that are down there but you know we just you you know we love it down there mm -hmm. we really do there's so much to do so many great local restaurants yes and that's the, that's i guess that's probably our big pool it is i mean is you know you're putting back into the community when you're mm -hmm. buying 
local, you know. So and and you want to keep your local people going, you know. I mean, it's so this past year with COVID, and I worked downtown, so I saw all of it. One of the reasons why I decided to invest in this website and in this process is because our town is local. We need to make sure that everybody's connected and everybody knows what certain people's skills are and what certain businesses are because you get so involved in your own life and your own routine, you don't realize that most everything you need is in our town. Mm -hmm. So that's that's good to know that yeah, now we I have agree. a landscaper. Yeah, I agree with you. And now we have a swim instructor that I didn't know that I can recommend as well. And we have so many wonderful things, out, mm -hmm. people, businesses out there that, you know, uh, you just you got to plug in with the right you, right people and right. you know it you'll see you know but you got to get plugged in yes that's that's the biggest part is getting plugged in are you going to go to arts and crafts festival this weekend yes i'm, I'm so who, excited who doesn't go to arts and crafts festival well you know some it some people don't like the crowds even you know pre yeah pre pandemic I, I, yeah. but i am so excited because normally it's my birthday weekend and when they first canceled it i thought we are not going to have it for the second year, but I plan to be there all weekend, so maybe you guys can just stop by and see me in my office. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, we'll be down there. Good. Um, that's that. That's stuff we do. Mm -hmm. you know? So, is there anything about your business that you would like people to know? We've talked about how creative you are, how you're personable, you're reliable, you do a really good job. You know, uh, Cape Landscape, it, you know, it. we, I like to say, well, the one-stop shop, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Change toilet seats, yeah, fix right? lawnmowers, <laughs> you, you know. know. <laughs> I mean, well, that's what we're here for. But, no, you know, when you can find a landscape company that can, can give you everything that you need to do, but you need for your yard. Yes. Then that's what you really want to plug in with. You know, I, I've ran into customers that have a, uh, a guy cutting the grass, mm -hmm. a guy hedging their bushes, a guy putting fertilizer down, a guy looking at their irrigation. Mm -hmm. You know, believe it or not, that costs that homeowner mo more money in the long run. Right. When you have one company that can Do offer everything. all that, you know, you could save that customer mm -hmm. some money. And that's what I try to do. I try to just, I'm, I'm there to help that customer save save money where they don't have to go all out. Look, stay with us, and I'll provide, you know, your irrigation, your landscape, mm -hmm. you know, your, your maintenance, um, and anything else that goes along with that. So, I wanted to see, I know you said you don't do social media, but do you have a website or a Facebook page? If not, I'm going to just be creating something for you, but do you have something where you can list all the services that you provide? I do. I actually have a Cape Landscape and Irrigation Facebook page. Right. And I did, cr I created it a while back because I was going to try to do the social media mm -hmm. thing, but I'd never published it. Okay. So, so I have it made. I've just never, and I'm, I'm all, I'm, I just created the page. I never put anything. I haven't written anything on it talking about okay. anything. Because like I said, I kind of, you know, I was like, if I get into this side of it, I'm like, oh, I'm going to be in it. You know, I'm going to be looking at, I'll be looking at Facebook every day, social media, you know, and, and, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing because right. that social media is a great, yes, great outlet, you yes, know, so, um, It'll be published here soon. I promise you. Well, guess what? Be... I'm going to add that as part of your social media link. So you better get on it and finish it. Well, it's been, like I said, it's finished. I just got to add a few things to it. Uh, actually, I just need to add the services that we provide. Okay. Um, which is a is a is a big list. Maybe by things. tomorrow you could. Yeah, we could do that. Okay. We can make that happen. That sounds good. We can make that happen. Well, thank you so much for meeting with me and taking a break from finishing my yard. And I am going to post pictures when we're finished of all the work that you've done.